where Namibia's hot desert sands meet the cold Benguela current, is a place of some most extraordinary and abundant marine life concentrations in the world. The Benguela current large marine ecosystem stretches from South Africa along Namibia's entire coastline into Angola. This fragile marine ecosystem provides tremendous services valued at over 267 billion US dollars per year. But ecosystems like Benguela can easily be disturbed by human activities, including overfishing, land and sea-based pollution and habitat destruction. Because of the Benguela current and a lot of plankton in the water, the kelp beds, that's why this, this is such a real abundance of fish here because of that. And once you start digging, you're going to destroy because all that silt and whatever you call it will be, will be washed up in the Benguela current going north. Ecological sustainability and economic value of these resources require sound ocean and coastal management. Since the Benguela current is a shared resource between Namibia, Angola and South Africa, conventional coastal management approaches are not enough. The Jeff UNDP Benguela project aimed at solving that problem by bringing together the three countries to jointly manage the large marine ecosystem they share. The project was able to initially scratch or to have some initial interventions where we looked at really bringing out real uh, results in terms of improving management, improving policy by starting processes where countries either at regional or bilateral level, they discussed and agreed uh, management instruments. For example, between Namibia and Angola, they started to negotiate a joint management plan to manage a shared important stock, which is economically, socioeconomically very important to both countries. In South Africa, we supported the development of an oceans policy, which integrates all the sectors and really just brings it all under one framework for the uh, country to address ocean issues. The project helped bring the three governments together to examine the ecological, socio-economic and governance issues across key sectors, such as fishing, tourism and oil and gas. The countries agreed on and signed a mutual strategy that reflects this integrated approach. This cooperation led to the signing of the Benguela Current Convention and establishment of the Benguela Current Commission, the first multi-country commission in the world to ensure the protection of a large marine ecosystem. In order to, uh, to succeed in all these projects, uh, all the parties or stakeholders involved, they have to, to cooperate and work together. Thanks to the project's innovative approaches, the three countries are jointly working on transboundary marine sustainability across multiple sectors for the first time. To ensure sustainable fisheries, policies and regulations also include measures such as suspending fishing to let stocks replenish, marine parks for threatened species and habitats, and oil spill emergency plans. These measures will sustain the ecosystem that has high economic and social value to fishing, extractive, shipping and tourism industries. By protecting Benguela together, Angola, Namibia and South Africa are taking critical steps to ensure the long-term future of their shared ocean-based economies and societies.